Hi, I'm Amy Kite with Color Women's Premier Realty. And today I thought I would bring up that you may have a great opportunity and one more chance to refinance. Uh, remember last October, November, the interest rate rates got low and so many people went out there and refinanced. In fact, I know from my perspective as, as an agent, our buyers were taking longer to get closed and get their financing through because there were so many people doing refinancing. So the um, mortgage companies were extremely busy and I am certain we're going to be seeing that again. Fixed rate mortgages are at their lowest level for 2011, uh, which has been reported in the current Freddie Mac Weekly. Many qualified buyers missed that opportunity last fall and we want to make certain that they do have that opportunity this year. Don't miss it. Don't want to be somebody who woulda, shoulda, coulda. Um, as an important, an important thing to remember and to keep in mind as you do refinance is that the points that are associated in, connect, in connection with a refinancing are generally not considered prepaid interest and therefore cannot be deducted. Um, so a lot of times what they do is that they spread them over the life of a mortgage. Some mortgage advisors will suggest that your lender um, they, to give you a par value loan to eliminate points which will lower your refinancing costs even though the, lower, the mortgage rate will be slightly higher. So if you were to take a mortgage, which I'm showing you here, the original mortgage amount was 195000 at interest rate of 5% currently over 30 years, and you have an unpaid balance of 18999 and you have $1,500 in refinance costs or finance closing costs, uh, and then you get a new interest rate of 4.5% over 30 years, you can actually save $81.07 a month. That would then, um, it would take you a year, one year and seven months in order to recapture that $1,500 in um, closing costs. So I think one of the things to remember is if you do refinance, it is something that you do want to stick with generally for a while because you do want to make sure that you recapture the um, the closing costs that have been put into that mortgage. And another thing to remember is I, I remember hmm, 05, 06, a lot of people were refinancing year after year after year and there are costs associated with that. And so you want to make certain that in the end it actually is a benefit to you. If you do have an FHA mortgage today and you want to refinance um, depending upon when you purchased, the PMI has increased, or MIP, it's the private mortgage insurance. And so you may not be better off refinancing today. Your mortgage payment may actually be higher. So I would suggest that you speak to a mortgage professional. And if you need some suggestions, of course, working in this business day in and day out, I certainly have people that I highly recommend and trust. And I would be happy to share their names with you. So this is Amy Kite, and I look forward to our conversation. Thank you.